First move, computer. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Oh, I'm allergic to play Megas. Why? Player. Draw card. Mana charge. Stone wing dwarf. I'm having flashbacks of last round. <laughs> um, it worked out well then, so let's see how long this goes. <laughs> Mana release. Summon. My hand's very different. But, Attack. yeah, this is how it went last week. <laughs> if I remember rightly, he then put a... Uh, there's a dog? Oh? I can't remember. Canines, that's it. Into the top left space. Are you serious? Is he doing the same thing again? Summon. Oh! Close, but Player. not quite. <laughs> Draw card. <laughs> Mana charge. Oh, we're going down to some horrible case of deja vu then. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. We have multiple lizards. It could meet this threat of nothing. You know what, I'm actually more tempted to get rid of his flame magus and put this lizard into the bottom left corner because then it's got its backside protected. Oh, yes, 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 a thousand times, yes, do it! Mana release. Him. And to him. Attack. <coughs> Technically, those mages are worth it for him because I've had to spend two mana to kill them and they only cost one, but I now put myself into a strong position. Oh, I consider it worth it. Summon. Although we don't get too technical. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mana charge. Mana release. Hello, what do we have here? Summon. Really? Hey, they're dead in a future turn. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Unlock. Maybe some Vezar Foot Soldiers come out here, actually. And just Player. sit there proud and happy. Mana charge. I don't see any other reason to not. Dantax Dwarf! This is the one that bounces off the... Stonewing Dwarf, isn't it? Yeah. Dantax Dwarf adds one to his attack every... Allied Stonewing Dwarf on the board. And I believe the Stonewing Dwarf adds protection for every Giant Axe Dwarf on the board. That could be an interesting duo. I was going to put the... There's our foot soldiers. Onto the Earth space. 
<coughs> Excuse me. But now I'm wondering whether the giant axe dwarf would be a better call. It'd be stronger for the same cost. Well, one more. It'd have more health, more attack. Yeah, just do it. Not debating. I'm not going to kill his harpoonsman because I can Solid. do that with the lizards. If I really need to. Which at the moment I don't. Off. And the buff. Now to deal any damage to, the, to that Stonewind Dwarf, he's got to Mana hit it for two. Fabulous. Mana release. Summon. Interesting. We're just not doing anything. <laughs> just dancing around. Okay. Uh... Player. Draw card. Ugh. A really strange situation to be in. I told him Harpoonsman. Go make friends with that one. Uh. Right. If I kill his Harpoonsman with my two mana, I won't have anything left to summon with, so my go will be void. All I'll do is give him the mana back, and then he'll have two more next turn. I might as well summon something. Question is what? Patmore Flame Keeper might not be a bad shout. Two mana, two health, two attack. I could put it in the top left cor top right corner, sorry. Beat on his lizards that'd take them down to two. And he's can't counter attack. And the blind spot is hit. It would use up all my mana though. The alternative is... Something like a... These, um... Triton and Harpoonsman. Again, put it in the top left... Top right corner. And let it hit the entirety of the top lane. It'd only deal one damage, but it would take the... There's our foot soldiers in the top left corner, down to one. Either way, I'm losing all my mana. I'm scraping the barrel here. Mana. Please, sir, can I have some mana? There's no point in doing the dog. It's not going to do anything. No point in doing the soldier. He's not going to do anything. So I'm stuck with either the lizard... Or the harpoonsman. <sighs> uh, I really don't know. Um, do you know what? Just because it'll free it up to be cheaper in the future. I'm going to use the Harpoonsman, because if he hits the entirety of the top lane, I'm going to take those Verzar Foot Soldiers down to one, which then in a future turn I can pay one into the Stonewing Dwarf to finish it off. Yeah. Because if I'm paying the... Uh, if I bring out the, um, uh, uh, what is it? If I bring out the Flame Lizard and put him into the top right corner, and then it hits his Flame Lizards in the top centre, I'm still going to have to pay two more in a future turn 
to make it kill them. It makes more sense to bring one creature down to one HP. Summon. Which I can easily finish off with one mana than to have to spend another two in a future turn doing the same job. Attack. Hopefully this goes through and I've not miscalculated this. There we go. So one damage to them in the middle. That's fine, they don't care. The foot soldiers are the one that matter. Computer. Draw card. I'm in check as well. He's gonna go for those guys Mana I've just release. summoned. Yeah, there we go. Mana release. Attack. He's gonna get a kill on them. That gives me my mana back. Well, one of them, anyway. Mana charge. Mana release. On into there. What's this? This a canine? Right. Check. Player. Draw card. Oh my. Mana charge. Well, this is fun, isn't it? Contact <laughs> <sighs> dwarf. Um, yeah. So I think we go the same way that I was planning for. Put one into my dwarf. Kill his foot soldiers in that corner. That will reveal a water space. Which I could then spend my remaining two mana on, putting a uh, Triton and Harpoonsman on, which would now have access to the blind spot of the Flame Lizards, because they've now turned. Ah! And just as I planned. Troll face. <laughs> Completely circumstantial. <laughs> Actually, I had no idea we were going to turn his flames. His flames was the last turn. Thought he might summon something to Mana kill. Charge. Might try to turn our spoons, man. But everything being so weak in this deck, probably not many creatures that could have done it anyway. So that probably was his only way out. Uh, just looking for next turn. I do have some flame lizards, no matter what space is available, if I survive this. Which I should do. Summon. Providing he doesn't use a uh, beguiling fog or a uh, fishes of goalie. They've got dodge. They're now 4 1. Hit the rear of these for 2 damage. Now those boys are down to 1 health. Dogs are at one health. Check. Computer. I can pay two Draw mana at any point for my lizards in the bottom left to kill his Triton and Harpoonsman. I've got multiple mana ways out of this. This is a spell. Summon a Mesmer's errand. He's drawing two cards. If he's doing that, I always think he's desperate. It's like, oh, I've got nothing to do here. Look at the draw. Unfortunately, with him, luck of the draw usually means mana release. Whatever pain this is. Summon. It's a catapult. Which direction? At the harpoonsman? No, at the giant axe dwarf. That's okay. I think they can survive. Attack. But I think they can do it quite easily. They're tanky little buggers. Ah, oh, they're tanky buggers too, they are. Check. Delicious. Draw card. Mana charge. Uh, 
what's this? An Imperial Bylith Guard. You're not going to help me because I can't summon you. <laughs> Quite simply. Uh, two mana to kill something or just to stay alive. We could Giant Axe Dwarf. We could Vez our Canine. We could Flame Lizard. Or we could Foot Soldier. We've got so many ways. I think we'll go for Giant Axe Dwarf for mean value. For maximum hitage. Um Oh, I did a card there. Uh Making absolutely sure I've not miscalculated or any bullshit like that. Yep, yeah, we'll get rid of the dogs. Of course, if I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna at least take the Summon. protection away from your catapult as well. And that's a buff for you. And that's another protection for you. My god, that. Attack. That Stonewing Dwarf's gonna take some battering to actually kill if it continues. Slap. I, I win. And thank you very much. Monotron. Now, there goes your protection. <laughs> Insult to injury. Player wins. <laughs>